I want to show you some of the um, pieces you can see me making on earlier video tutorials here. Um, I've done quite a bit of moving around since I first started making them, but finally I can get them more or less finished. Um, these were the, uh, the cones that I made, so they're like that, and they're quite translucent in places. And I've added silver and gold leaf, and I've started using a soldering iron, which is a great little tool to use because you can press in and make all sorts of sort of marks which somehow resemble seeds or stamens or little um, stems. Anyhow, they work really, really well. So you can get effects like that. So you can, they're all various and different and all slightly different. Um, this one is more golden and flashy, really. They can also be um, made into pendants and brooches, quite flat. I can make them into lapel pins as well. That one's got some kind of bronzing powder added to it. But I've made hundreds of them, they're all slightly different. Um, one of the processes I use now, which I may not put on the video, is just smoking the edge with a candle and then sealing it um, with a I probably would use a flat acrylic resin for that. Um, yeah, they, they make beautiful little components. Um, I also made, in one of the videos, um, these uh, iridescent... Let's get that in the light. Is that good? Iridescent beads. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Like that sort of thing. And... Sometimes they get stuck on the end of the um, wooden sticks when you're making them. And I think I pointed out in the video that you could just use them as a sort of a bead that wasn't actually a bead. And in this case, I've just embedded one in the centre of that. So that works really well. Um, I've also made a lot of those little beads. And I've turned them into rather exotic necklaces. I think they're quite lovely. Um, see if I can show you them on the camera. Now, the bits in the middle there are papier-mâché air-dry clay, which is pressed into a mould. In fact, I can show you the mould here. This is the mould, which was taken from the inside of a silver spoon. This is kind of basic repoussé work, but done on a machine in Edwardian times for serving... I don't know, fruit salad maybe, or something like that, jam, <laughs> large loaves of jam. Um, and then I just pressed uh, fragments in, like so, and on the back I added a little bead and I put some gold leaf on the back and then I put the steel wire through it. And I've linked them up um, with some of the um, iridescent beads that I made so that they... and also I've added pearls. I'll put some photographs on um, my web page and on Pinterest. Uh, I don't know if I can stick some series of photographs might be quite nice to just do um, and stick them onto Facebook as well. So that's those. You'll see how to make all of these things and I just want a lot of people to say what do they look like when they're finished and that's what I wanted to say really. Um, they, You can take them into any shape you like. These are, um, are, are pins so that they would sit on a, not on a stripy old t-shirt, but they'd sit on something else. It looked like, um, they look like porcelain, but in actual fact it's papier-mâché, gilded and scorched, and very, very lightweight, so no fear of pulling down clothing. So, that's it really, at that stage. Um, I also, um, no, it's not all, it's not it actually, because I've got a few more. See, these ones also are papier-mâché with just a little dot of gold in the middle and they were pretty well made by just squidging it with your thumb and letting it dry out. And I've been using, uh, I think they're called keshi pearls or um, poppy pearls, just little fragments of unfall. Well, they're, they're, they're cultured pearls without a nucleus, so they just form these little kind of petal shape. They're really lovely. Um, and also I've added them in between here as well because they make very good spacers. In fact, I, I've used quite a few pearls, bits and pieces, but there you go.
Okay, that's all for now and I shall get back.